Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back with the final part of the Chocolate Cafe. Uh, what I wanted to discuss in today's episode is gyms, uh, and my, what I would like to see improved, changed, um, updated, I guess, or fixed, stuff like that. Uh, so let's start off with the first thing that should be very easy to fix, which is when you take a gym, you should have a minute. 60 seconds to put your Pokemon in there. Uh, if you don't do it in the 60 seconds, then anyone can fill the gym. But right now you have a lot of people, or not a lot of people, but you have people that'll just sit and wait for someone else to take the gym and then they'll snipe it and put their Pokemon in there before anyone else can. And that's annoying and it's stupid and it shouldn't be there. So all they need to do is give you a minute. No one else can put anything in there for a full minute other than the people who took it. So if you have multiple people who took it, uh, all of you can get your Pokemon in there uh, before anybody else can kind of swoop in and snipe your snipe your gym. Uh, that's kind of like the easy fix that really needs to be done uh, that, that I don't think would be too hard for them to take care of would be to just uh, give you a little bit of time, 30 seconds, even 30 seconds, gives you enough time to click on the gym, throw your Pokemon in there before anybody else can. Uh, next is uh moves within the gyms uh the there needs to be I, I feel like there should be something else other than the way it's designed now i feel like it doesn't even closely mirror how the the games are it's kind of like branched out on its own and you just pretty much spam you just spam tap your screen that's all you do i wish there was a little bit more strategy involved um but obviously there isn't now all you do is tap your screen and if you want to use your special attack you just hold down on the screen which is which is really boring it makes gyms a whole lot less fun than they could be uh the next thing is uh the pokemon within a gym some pokemon when you leave them at gyms are are weak and they get taken out really quick and some are just way too op that they just <laughs> They can take out half of someone's team. They need to work on... I know they nerfed Vaporeon, but Vaporeon is still OP. Uh, and they buffed... They buffed Snorlax and someone else. But those aren't really the Pokemon that need nerfed and buffed. Jolteon needs to be buffed. Uh, Snorlax needed to be nerfed. Because Snorlax in a gym with Hyper Beam is one of the strongest Pokemon you can leave there. Uh... Chansey's CP should be boosted, not any of her stats, just her combat power, because it just seems weird that your really good Chansey is like a 400 CP, like it doesn't even make any sense. So they, they should boost that. Uh, Lapras, they should boost something about Lapras attacks, whether it be speed or whether it be damage, because Lapras is all but useless <laughs> for gems sometimes. Because it attacks so slow and does so limited amount of damage. Uh, another thing that they should nerf is um, the, uh, the 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 hydro pump for Vaporeon when they're in the gym. It's it's more damaging when it's in the gym, like when it's attack when it's defending the gym, than when you're attacking it. Because I fought a 650 Vaporeon the other night. And mine's like 640 something, and we both used Hydro Pump at the same time, and his killed me, and mine barely did any damage. Uh, the the Hydro Pump, the multi the multiplier uh, on it just seems to be a little bit off when they're in the gym. I don't know, that might just be my experience, but it is the experience I've had is that they have been a little bit. Uh, the multipliers with Pokemon in the gym. Sometimes they're weaker, sometimes they're stronger. It just seems like they need to do a little bit of a multiplier adjustment. Uh, I know they tried to do a little bit of that with the new update, which is good, but I still think it needs a, a bit more tweaking. Uh, and then the most important thing that I wanted to talk about with the gyms is their difficulty. They're not, they're not hard at all. Like, you could leave, there could be like, for 2,000 Pokemon at a gym, and you could easily, easily beat it with a party of six at like 
1600 as long as you knew what types you needed, which you do, because you get a preview scout of the gym. So you can relative, you can sweep gyms pretty easily. Uh, the main thing that I wanted to talk about is designing it a little bit more like the games, like, um, you know, like the Game Boy games, DS, oh, the games have been coming out for 20 years. Um, what my suggestion would be is keep the gyms how they are, you know, just different points around the city, whatever, but put a trainer, like your trainer would be inside with your party of six. So you would have to be, you would, you would have your party of six, okay, and then you would beat the first person in the gym, because you could, you could level up your gym's prestige still, but you would beat the first person in the gym, and in order to kick anybody out of the gym, you would have to beat all the way up until the top guy. If you beat everybody all the way up till the top guy, everybody below the top guy is knocked out of the gym, and you just have to face the top guy. But if you can only beat two out of the three guys before the top uh, the top guy, everybody stays in the gym, and someone else will have to come by and beat them since you couldn't. Uh, that's not exactly how it works in the games. In the games, it's um, you just have to beat them once, and then they get you don't have to fight them anymore at that gym. But I feel like this makes it a little bit more challenging, and it makes it a little bit more easy to hold gyms. Now, this does kill the value on new players because they'll never be able to take a gym if you're new at this point. But what it does is it gives you longevity for the game. It gives players a chance to hold down their city. Uh, if you had a strong squad of like 2,400 piece and you could sit atop a gym, you could lock that thing down. Like I feel like if you, if, if you put in the time and you're really strong, you got really strong Pokemon, uh, you should be able to hold gyms. You can't hold a gym. Like good luck holding a gym for more than 24 hours. Like it's not gonna happen. It's just too easy to take them. Um, like a friend and I, we were out the other day. Uh, there were a couple other people from Team Mystic at a gym, uh, and we took in. Then we all powered it up, uh, and we put in. I put in my 2000 Lapras. Uh, one of them put in a 1900 Arcanine. We had a 2100 Snorlax and a 20. Was it 2200 uh, Gyarados all at this gym? It didn't last two hours. Like, that's a pretty, that's one of the stronger gyms I've seen personally with all of that in there. And we couldn't hold it. We just couldn't hold it. And I, I it's just way too difficult, in my opinion, to hold gyms right now. Like, uh, when I go to the Chocolate Cafe, there's a Dragonite gym. Uh, there's a guy, he must, like, live at the spot because he always has it. But I see people take him out all the time, but he gets it back. Um, and I think his Dragonite's 2100, and there must be other people in the building that are the same, because it's always full of the same people, but there's, like, two Dragonites and, like, three Laprases in that gym at all times, and they're all over 1700. They can't hold the gym for, they can't hold the gym for two hours, let alone hold it for a day. And I feel like, you know, there would be, you could do, like, a Dominator bonus and Dominator experience and stuff like that. Uh, incentives for holding gyms, um, knowing what gym, what Pokemon are best gym appropriate, you know, it would it, diversifying your team, stuff like that. Give an advantage to those who take the time and know what they should have and whatnot. Like, you know, having a team within the gym of like a Chansey uh, to soak up damage and to deal out some, a Lapras, you know, a hard dealing damage Pokemon like a Charizard or a Dragonite. Uh, and stuff like that, just have some stuff within the gym, you know, build a team, like you build the team in the actual games, I think would uh, provide a lot of replay value, and it also provides you with, uh, you know, you'd be able to des design different teams for different scenarios, you know, if you know there's a water spawn around, and a lot of people are going to have water Pokemon, you could design a team based around grass and electric, uh, to make sure you your team could clean up all of those uh, water Pokemon that are coming to attack you. Uh, you know everybody's using Vaporeon, so maybe you could get something out there like an Executor or a um, really strong Vileplume or really strong Electabuzz out there to really fight and deal with those Vaporeons uh, because everybody and their mother knows that Vaporeons are the best Pokemon for 
uh, gyms, battling gyms. Not necessarily leaving them at gyms, even though people do. They're more better for battling, but it would introduce another level of strategy to the game. Uh, I feel like they could do a lot with gyms. Um, you know, you could get a defender bonus. You know, there's a defender bonus for how many Pokemon you have at gyms, but that's not really what I would prefer. It would be a defender bonus for how many trainers your team beat while at the gym. So every time your team beats a gym, you would get something like a thousand Stardust and uh, 25 uh, Pokey Coins or 50 Pokey Coins, whatever you want to you want to do 25 probably is more realistic do 25 every team you beat you get 25 pokey coins and a thousand stardust and this would give you an extent incentives to hold the gym right now all you gotta do is go take it and throw whatever the heck in there because there's no point of trying to hold a gym because it just isn't gonna happen um and so with incentives to hold gyms people would get more strategic it would get more fun to try to take gyms you wouldn't be able to just waltz your way into any gym you wanted and take it because I'm level 23 almost level 24 which isn't the highest by any means of anybody there are people that are like 34 but I'm pretty confident that I can take about any gym that I, I haven't seen a gym that I, I couldn't take and I look at a lot of gyms because I'm interested in what Pokemon people have. Because usually you can get a general sense of an idea of what Pokemon tend to be in the area by looking at uh, the gyms and seeing what Pokemon are at the gyms. Uh, but I think, you know, that incentive pro, not program, but incentive, incentives would help with the overall replay value. And it would help with overall competitiveness for the gyms. Because right now you can sit at a gym and trade it back and forth till forever because you're, you can't put a Pokemon in there that's going to stop a team of six. Or if they want to leave it as you know, you put one Pokemon in the gym and that's it. Make the people attacking the gym have one or two, po it, it, three Pokemon max, not six. It's way too easy with six. You can have a Pokemon to counter everything and the people in the gym are just stuck with the one Pokemon they threw in there. So you can take, you know, a, a party with every single damage type so you have a, you have the advantage against everything and looky there there's the easiest um the easiest gym taking ever like i i still haven't even struggled with a gym to take it like i i don't you i'm gonna have an episode coming out here in a few days uh where i'm gonna take some gyms but uh you'll see in that I'm not sure if there's any gym. I want to find a gym that beats me. I want someone to beat me. That's like that's like half the fun of gyms was that you had to adapt, you had to learn. Most of the time you could beat them, but you had to grind, you had to level up. And I think that would just be fun. And, you know, like in your capital city or in uh, special designated areas, you know, they could have... MPC gyms where you go and you collect a badge or you collect something you collect an egg you get an item something like that where when you beat it you get a chunk of XP you get some items and you, you do stuff like that and they can make some MPC gyms that you could just keep challenging for fun um, you could never take it obviously but you could beat it and get a reward and obviously the rewards could, would be diminishing over a 24 hour period and then once the 24 hours are over you could go back and fight that gym and get uh, a full award from it a reward um adding yet another little replay value and another thing to get people out uh because that's really what the game is doing trying to get people you know a little bit more active which has kind of worked because i haven't like played my xbox in since this game came out, I've played it a really limited amount since Pokemon Go came out. So it is doing its job. It's getting me, like, I'm not playing my Xbox, and I'm I'm going out looking for Pokemon. Um, I think eventually here I'm going to talk about Generation 2 Pokemon. I think that's all I had to say about gyms. I guess I'll lay it out here. I'll lay it out one last time. So first of all, uh, the damage multipliers, I think they need to be tweaked a little bit. Because uh, there are some really OP Pokemon at gyms and stuff like that. So I think there is a little tweaking that needs to be done there. But nothing too big. Um, and I think that they need to give whoever takes a gym 
a minimal amount of time. Like, don't dick around. Like, like get your Pokemon in there. But, but I think they should give you a little bit of time to get it in there. 30 seconds to a minute, somewhere around there. And then finally, the biggest thing is some adjustment to the gym. Make it more difficult. It difficult. Make it more rewarding. Make it more. Just make it more fun. Uh, maybe you know, if you took down a gym, you could get one candy for the Pokemon that you uh, that took out the most uh, Pokemon at the gym. Something like that. Some little incentive gets you out there because gyms gyms are going to become more into play here because we don't because of the stupid footprints being removed that I went on a rant on yesterday's video. Um, so gyms will become a little bit more prevalent. It's something else to do since you can't really just go hunting for Pokemon anymore because because Niantic decided they didn't want the footprints in the game anymore. Uh, and hopefully they make the return, but I don't think I'm holding my breath since it's been like three weeks since we had them. Uh, so finally, that's kind of that. I'm going to go into... Uh, like I said, I'm going to go into talking about uh, second generation Pokemon and also legendary Pokemon probably in a future video. I'm not sure when. I want to get a little bit more information. People are coming out with videos and talking about stuff and they don't know what they're talking about for one thing. Some people don't know what they're talking about. Two, there is no information on Generation 2. So half of it is just like clickbait stuff and it's just stuff to get you click on it and watch their video and a lot of it doesn't even discuss anything they'll talk about they'll talk about generation two for like two minutes and their video is like 35 minutes i'm like okay so you included this just so you could put it in the title so people click on it i see how it is but i want to collect a little bit of data and uh put together kind of my own theories about generation two how it's going to come in and uh what uh what how they should implement them because eventually if we get all eight generations of pokemon uh we're gonna be in a little bit of trouble when you're trying to catch a certain pokemon because we'll be up to like 900 some pokemon so good luck catching that that uh well whatever what am i looking at what am i guess good luck finding that trico or or you know even like a drowsy or a jinx on my screen. Yeah, good luck finding that. There's 900 Pokemon available to be found. Good luck finding the one you'll want. So there's going to have to be a way to make sure you know you can still find your Pokemon. Because once we get too many, it's going to be really hard to figure it all out. But hopefully, I'm trusting Niantic get it done. I think they'll do a, they're doing a fine job with the game other than the footprints and a little bit of my complaints with the gyms, but they're mostly just suggestions more than complaints. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, check out tomorrow's episode. It's going to be uh, something special. It's going to be evolutions and some power-ups and stuff like that. So I hope you all enjoyed, and drop the video a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out.